Good afternoon. I'm on a solo mission this week to see and do as much as possible from Joshua Tree National Park. Only a two and a half hour drive away from San Diego. Embarrassingly enough, this is my first time ever here. But regardless, I made it here now and my maiden adventure begins at what will serve as my home base for this trip. And that is right here at the Pioneer Town Ranch. Check out this place. All right, I have a plan of attack, but first, let's go in and check out the digs. Come on over. Oh, wow. Looks like an outdoor shower here. Nice little hangout spot here. Oh, bocce ball court over there. Hangout spot. Whoa, how cool is this? Little seating area here. Looking out at all the rocks. Come inside. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa! Look at this place. I was not expecting this. Look at this setup. Nice kitchen. Water filtration system. What? Look at this. A little record player. You got the fireplace here. And then you got the living room area. How cool is that? You got the Joshua tree set up. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's come in here. Oh, that looks like a bedroom. It looks like a bathroom. There's one bedroom there. And here's another bedroom. Oh, baby, this has got to be the master. Look at this shower. Oh, I'm just roughing it out here in Joshua tree. This looks like it should be outdoor outdoor shower yes how cool of a setup is this I wasn't expecting this at all pioneer town ranch you have blown me away this kitchen is incredible you got the bocce set outside you have the jacuzzi which I'm definitely getting to later the outdoor shower this incredible little picnic hangout living space outdoors and all these wonderful and crazy looking rock formations in the distance. And this is the perfect home base for a couple of days in Joshua Tree. Whew. All right, I'm gonna get settled in here and I have a load of comments, tips, and suggestions from you guys on Instagram on what to do. Let the games begin now. Good morning. It is just after 1.45 a.m. I don't know why I do this, but it usually pays off. I'm gonna head out into the park and go try to capture some of that beautiful star photography and video that I've heard so much about. There's no air pollution around Joshua Tree, they say. So this morning, I'm gonna go try to capture it. It's early. Oh, it's very early. Let's go. exactly where I'm headed but it does say trail access dead ahead it doesn't help with this light in my face <laughs> I really didn't prepare too much I think it's pretty simple that's the famous last words let's go check it out this is arch rock oh here we go that doesn't look too far away does it Twin you are here arch rock okay let's go check it out there we go, perfect arch rock nature trail this way. All right, what, uh, what trail do I go down? Oh boy, this way maybe? I don't know if this is right. No, you're not. This is uh, too many trails. Bring a winter hat, it helps. 
not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a little turned around right now. Okay, let's go back to where we started. Yeah, there's just a lot of different trails to take and not really well marked. Uh, it's gonna be worth it, I hope. Just gotta find the right path. Now I'm getting into bigger rocks. All right, pro tip. If you can, grab your Google Maps and you can either download your maps offline or even just regular maps right now. I don't have service, but I can still see the maps. And Arch Rock is actually a point on the map and there's a little photo next to it. Just follow that if you're not exactly on the right path and you get closer and closer because you have your little blue dot that follows you as a, your GPS. So just try to match that little blue dot to the Arch Rock signal on the map. That's what I'm doing and it looks like I'm getting closer. Right over this ridge. I think right over this ridge. <laughs> Careful, buddy. Careful, buddy. Look. There it is. There it is. There. There's the arch. See that? Oh, you can't see it. Yes. Oh. Oh. Found it. Yes. And I got the whole place to myself. Actually, the area all around it might be even cooler. I'll find a safe way down and put the camera away. Get myself set up here. Best thing you can do is return safely. Oh, let's go this way. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. All right, set up shop. Gareth's log from the middle of nowhere here in Joshua Tree. I'm just on the other side of Arch Rock right now and I found this incredible rock formation so I set up shop and I'll give you a little tour before I shoot another time lapse. I'm right against this rock face, block myself from the wind, make sure nothing sneaks up from behind me. I actually brought a blanket this time, came prepared, and my backpack just so I have something to lean against. It is incredible out here. I'm all by myself. It's just after four in the morning, just shooting time lapses of this incredible Milky Way overhead. And these rock formations make the perfect foreground. Oh, I am deprived of sleep and I couldn't be happier. This is incredible. Just, just absolute silence, absolute darkness, and just me, some rocks, and this beautiful sky. And also there's one owl that's very close by. You just hear, ooh, ooh, every now and then. And just, he's letting me know he's looking out for me. I can't see him, I'd love for him to come and sit next to me, but I mean, I think that's his job is just to stay at bay, but he's just looking out, keeping me protected as I enjoy this incredible nature. <laughs> oh, life is good. spot. Guess I don't need my light anymore. The first people have arrived over at the arch right behind me and I just got a little bit of a higher view and now with the first light I can see all of the valley of Joshua Tree and all of these incredible rock formations. Look at this. <laughs> this is unreal. <sighs> I'm gonna take it in for a minute and keep moving. Whew. Unreal first stop.
And just a few miles down the road, it's Skull Rock, right on the side of the street. Let's go take a look. The sun is starting to poke up. See that? Skull Rock is the trail to go see Face Rock. That's what I really want to see. Skull Rock, Face Rock. Right on. There you are. All right, I'm out looking for Face Rock. The sun is rising. It is beautiful out here. There's only one other car in the parking lot, and they're just sitting over at Skull Rock. But not great signage, Joshua Tree. It's well marked, I guess, but it doesn't tell you exactly where you are. There's all sorts of different trails. So to stay on one particular path, you can easily get yourself turned around. Luckily, it's all one desert, so it's pretty easy to see, but all right, face rock, I will find you. This way, maybe. Maybe you might be the face rock? Let's go around here. I'll go around here and see if I can see better. Starting to look like a face, wouldn't you say? I'd say that's a smiling face. Look at that. I think this is it. Face rock. Straight on, it just looks like another rock protruding from the earth, but if you come to the side, it's a smiling face. I like this one even better than skull rock. More human. Let's get a closer look. There he is, in all of his glory. Whoa, that's cool. And for breakfast this morning, I stopped at a little place in Yucca Valley on the way up to my place. It's called Frontier Cafe, and I got the classic sandwich. So let's check this out. Let me take a look. Doing this with my phone because it's a little more manageable. So I got bacon, avocado. Look at that breakfast sandwich. Well, that's looking pretty good, huh? It's got some kind of fancy mayo in there. Let's give this a try. Oh, that looks good. Oh man. Oh yeah. Come to Papa. Mm. Oh yeah. Made a bit of a mess. Think they got napkins in there? Look at that, baby. Wow. That is delicious. Not the cheapest breakfast sandwiches. There was $10 for the classic sandwich, which was this fancy mayo, uh, arugula, tomato. But then you add another $2 for avocado and another $3.50 for bacon. So you're looking at a $15 breakfast sandwich. Not cheap. And I also, I'm just so hungry that I didn't complain. I also got, I thought it was just like this ginger lemonade. This was $8. Are you nuts? 30 milligrams of hemp extract, ashwagandha, ginkgo biloba, all the things in it. $8 for this thing. You're crazy. This better taste like gold. All right, this is an official taste test for Unity. $8 drinks. Let's see if this is worth it. I think all the good stuff's on the bottom. I don't know if it's like a... You guys let me know what this actually is. Tastes like lemonade. A little ginger in there. Man, I don't taste the hemp. 
or anything for that matter. Just tastes like a very light ginger lemonade. Not sure if I paid $8 for it again, but uh, this is what it is. But this, minus the cost, is so good. The brioche bun, look at that. With the brioche bun, the bacon, the avocado, all that good stuff. Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat this, make a mess, and roll back to the house. And in the afternoons, when the sun is at its highest and Joshua Tree is at its hottest, I come back to the ranch and take a nap for a couple hours and wait for everything to cool down. Okay, time in. Let's get back to the adventures. the goal and for sunset I'm making the 1.5 mile trek up to Ryan's mountain it's said to be the best place to watch sunset in the park so let's go see if that's true come on nice little start get some steps As always, it's just a race against the sun for these types of hikes, trying to catch the sunset. But I think I'm winning so far. I left the parking lot about 5.30. Sunset is said to be at 7.15, so I'm making good time. Whew. All right, about a half hour in. A nice gradual climb, constantly going uphill. Wind's starting to pick up now past a few people on the trail, but not too busy at all. A couple of switchbacks. I'm on my way. Almost there. About 45 minutes in now. Moving at a good pace. Look at that. Nothing but National Park for miles and miles. Just around this little bend. Starting to flatten out now, it looks like. The wind has subsided. Oh, this is beautiful. There it is. That looks like the top. By George, I think I made it. And these views from the top of Ryan Mountain. Whoa! This place, I'll tell you what, Joshua Tree. It has exceeded my expectations. Wow. And of course, the best way to finish day one is back at the ranch in the outdoor hot tub, looking up at all the stars. <laughs> this is incredible. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh my God. Uh, all right, that's a wrap on today's episode. If you liked the video, please go give it a very simple thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. 
it would mean the world to me. Also, stay tuned for the next episode from here in Joshua Tree. I'm going to show you the best places to eat, all that plus another amazing sunrise spot and a few interesting hiking trails. I'll see you guys next time and don't forget, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya. Also, what's that rock there? I wonder if that has a name. Hmm, guess not. Also, just be really aware, it gets really windy up here on the top of Ryan's Mountain. So, whenever you want to take some video or photos or anything, you might want to hide behind a bush or something just to block yourself from the wind. <laughs>